So if you're applying to study medicine or dentistry in the UK, but as an international student, you will know that it is incredibly difficult. Not only is there only a 6% success rate of students getting in, but you'll know that the fees as an international student are incredibly high. So here we're gonna talk about how they differ from university to university, how they will differ throughout the course and ways that you can either get around it or negotiate it, but also other things that you must consider before you actually go ahead and take that course. Now, you'll have probably heard people quote numbers, which actually have gone up recently, but in the range of 20,000 to 60,000 pounds per year of study. Now, this doesn't tell the full picture because it is broken down slightly per year depending on the university. So I'm gonna use a handful of universities, about five to illustrate the point that I'm trying to say. But most courses are divided into kind of roughly two sections, what they call pre-clinical years. So those are the years that are more lecture-based. You're not in hospital. You don't have people uh, supervising you on the wards and you're not seeing patients as much. And then you have your clinical years where you are in hospital and you do have people supervising you. Now, there are different costs associated with each of those. Now, of course, those later years in hospital where you have much more individual attention, where you know, consultants are probably supervising a handful of students at a time versus a big lecture hall, makes a massive difference. So the costs for the clinical years are much higher. So you can see here some of the prices for the preclinical years. Like I say, this is the theory where you're learning the more science-based stuff. And you can see that places like Leicester might be the lowest in the 23,000 range, and then Oxford are much higher, almost double that for their preclinical years as well. That's probably because Oxford have the tutor system where they actually have much more one-on-one -on -one time, but still you can see there is a large variance in those universities and how those prices differ. Now, the other three universities that we've chosen, Edinburgh, Manchester, and Birmingham are all Russell Group unis, so very prestigious universities and probably represent about the middle of the road. But then you can see how they differ for the clinical years. Again, these are the much more hands-on years where you're in hospital seeing patients, getting much more individual attention from the senior doctors, the consultants, so therefore the prices are reflected. But as you can see, for Leicester, the lowest, it's almost doubled in price, over 41,000 pounds. And for Oxford, the most expensive, you're nearing 60,000 pounds, just, just slightly over 57,000 pounds. So you can see just how expensive it is. Also, the range in price and how much that would differ when you have five years of study at medical school, how those will compound and add up over time. Another thing that you need to factor in when you are considering which university to apply to as an international is not only the cost of the fees themselves, but also the cost of living. So it could be accommodation. Again, Oxford will have much more expensive accommodation than say Leicester. And if you go to maybe London or Manchester, if you're staying in private accommodation, which a lot of people do, that will also be significantly higher than if you're going to somewhere like Hall Medical School. So really, Big important things to bear in mind if the fees are a squeeze and you do have to consider whether you can afford them, you do have to factor in the additional costs as well. If those fees are out of your price range and you really still want to go to a UK-based medical or dental school, you might want to check out this video here where I talk about scholarships and financial aid that you can achieve. However, if the fees are within your price range, the biggest difficulty still that you're going to face is getting over those competition ratios. Like I say, 6% in an already incredibly competitive university course to get into is really tricky. You have to make sure that you get absolutely everything about your application right. So if you would like some help to make sure that you get into those very few places available, I recommend that you check out this video here where you learn a little bit more about the FutureDoc program and you can have us help coach you one-on-one -on -one to optimize your application and get into your dream university. Thank you for watching and I'll see you over in one of those videos.